Hey, what's up? It's your man JS3. I'm sitting here with Queen Lee. Queen Lee is in the building, y'all. So right here, we put this event. So she's gonna tell us a little bit about what she's doing here tonight. So Queen Lee, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. All right, so tell us a little bit about what's going on tonight. So tonight is about the ladies. Ladies the ladies night. The ladies are in the C -H -H, building. Come on. Period. Yes. And it's so crazy too that um, this event is even happening because um, recently the Holy Spirit was telling me that everybody keeps on talking about how the women of CHH are up next, but Holy Spirit was like. I say y'all up now. Mm. So when this event came, I was like, yes, yes. it's on time. Yes. It's prophetic. It's right where yes. it's supposed to be. So that's what we doing. It's like we celebrating the ladies of CHH, the dancers, all the women, everything women we celebrate this night. Yeah, tonight you got, look, you got rappers, you got singers, you got poets, you're going to be dancing. Everything is all about the ladies tonight, so it's going to be going down. So I know you got some projects out, so tell them about your latest project that you have that, or that you're working on right now. So the project that I'm working on right now, I'm actually about to release a single. It's actually called Up Down, okay. and it came from exactly what I just said, which was the Holy Spirit was literally talking to me about the women, telling us that we're up now, and I'm talking about raw, uncut, sitting in a chair, get my hair done, and the Holy Spirit just dropped this song in my lap. And it's literally called Up Now, and it's literally talking about how they is sleeping on us, but we up now, like, it's time to wake up if you get sleeping on us. So, that's my next project that's literally coming out in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's called Up Now, um, Queen Lee. Hey Amen, that's what's up. Queen Lee, Queen is in the building. She is in the building, so check it out. I know um, you have a story about you know how you got saved and everything. Just give them a, 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 bit of, a little bit of a background about how you got saved and changed your life. Oh wow, okay, so um, I'm born and raised in Atlanta and I've been living a crazy wild life since forever. Um, but in 2017, I was working this job and I was um, chasing the two things that I love the most, which is men and money. Men and money, my the goodness. The thing that I love the absolute most, and um, that's literally what God used to snatch me out of the world my and bring goodness. me into his kingdom. So basically what ended up happening was, I was working at Amazon, and this man came up to me, and he started prophesying to me. At the time, I'm like, I didn't know what prophecy was. Mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. how do he know me? Like, how do he know my life? Mm -hmm. So he started talking to me, and he was like, you don't supposed to be working, he's supposed to be somewhere talking. And not knowing that I was literally in college to be a marriage counselor because I didn't know, like, I just knew I wanted to talk, and I knew I loved love, so I was like, I want to do something in the area of speaking. Um, I didn't know how like God was going to use me in that area, but long story short, he asked me to come to Bible study that same night, and I act like I was coming, but I knew I really wasn't going to come, <laughs> and so um, I knew I didn't have like gas money, I had like $10 in my bank account, and but I felt a nudge to go, not knowing at the time that it was the Holy Spirit, but I felt something telling me like I needed to go, so I pull up to the quick trip, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and go, I pull up to the quick trip, I'm about to put my last $10 in the tank, and I get out the car, and I find $20 on the ground, my goodness. and I was like... Like, I have never found money in my life. I've never experienced, like, the feeling that I felt then. And I went to that Bible study that night. Um, it was August of 2017. I got saved, and that's still the church I'm in right now. My goodness, that's an awesome testimony. We all have a testimony. All of us, as Christians, we all have a testimony. So, again, it's your man, JS3. I got the queen in the building right here. So, check it out. Let everybody know how they can get in contact with you, all your social media information so they can know how to how to follow you. Yes. So, I am CEO Aaliyah on all platforms that is Instagram, TikTok, everything. I am CEO Aaliyah, and that's spelled A A L I Y H. So, there it is right there. Look, she's in the building. The other ladies are in the building. It's ladies' night. So, check it out. She going to see y'all. Y'all really need to come see her, all right? So thank you for being here. God bless you and have a great show, all right? We the church. We the church. We the